Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. Now, in the last episode, I covered the possibility of writing some rather succinct C++ 17 code that would let you merge the implementations of multiple lambdas into one callable object. And this was a continuation of a previous video that I had done where I showed how to do that with just two lambdas. Now, I got several comments from people that asked, why in the world would you want to do such a thing? So in today's episode, I am going to cover why you would want to do such a thing in this world. So let's look first at the code from last week. It has this rather uh, simple implementation where we are inheriting from a set of objects that are passed in and we are using all of their operator parents. So basically we're able to create a single callable thing from a bunch of base callable things and we are using our C++ 17 class template deduction guides to make this all easier to use. So let's make one quick change first and I will maybe give away what we're going to aim for here. Instead of calling this merged Let's call it visitor. So now we have an object that's called visitor. And what might a visitor be used for? It could be used for visiting types of variants. So let's create an array of variants. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to keep this code very, very small. So we have now an array of variants. The first item is a double, the second item is an integer. This could obviously be made much bigger. And we want to walk over all of these elements in our array to try to, let's say, sum up the total of all the doubles and sum up the total of all the ends. And now we can sum up all the total of the doubles and the ints by using a visitor. So we're going to use a standard algorithm to walk over the elements of the array and visit them. Now, there is a lot of code generated here, and unfortunately, this is not something that GCC is currently able to fully inline and optimize away. But we have the idea that we are able to use for each with our visitor, and our visitor was generated by inheriting from a set of lambdas to walk over all of the elements in this array. And if we were to expand this a little bit and say, well, it can also be a car, or an STD string. Now we're going to get a failed build because we don't have anything in our visitor to handle the standard string and the car. So we can easily um, put in some dummy implementation here just to prove the point of the example. And now our visitor would be capable of walking over any of these possible types. So this is why one might want to inherit from multiple lambdas and create a new type as we have here with our visitor so that you can walk over various types of variants. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.